Hey, welcome back to the Cardboard Cave. Here's something kind of random that um, I picked up a couple of because I got sucker written on my forehead. <laughs> no, um, I came across these kind of randomly, probably because I've been buying the living far out of Funko Soda. And so I probably got an advertisement on my Facebook or something because I didn't know these existed. It is a Funko product. It's not Funko Soda. It's not Funko Pops. It is... Funko Blockbuster Rewind. And talk about pounding on your nostalgia bone. These are officially licensed with, well, lots of different licenses. For example, the original live action Ninja Turtle movie and Lord of the Rings. Although it doesn't specifically say, I feel like it should say, because there was never just a, this was never just called Lord of the Rings. It was called fellowship two towers or return of the king anyways <coughs> already nitpicking they're made to look like the old clamshell vhs tapes and it's uh official blockbuster licensing does blockbuster still exist apparently there's at least one because i know there's a documentary about the last blockbuster <laughs> so i guess they can still do licensing so it's like an old style clamshell vhs case but inside there's a figure and yes of course because it's funko there's a chase figure in addition to a regular figure um now i have the funko soda of sauron so i'm definitely going to directly compare those and this is the like i said the original live action team and t movie and it has leo in it and i feel like this looks pretty similar to the original funko soda of leo as well so i'm also going to pull him over here both are a chance of chase. I got these both off Amazon. I believe they retail for $11.99, which is like the same as a regular Funko Pop. And technically a couple bucks less than Funko Soda because they've gone up to 15 bucks retail. I guess you really pay for that metal can. So we'll see how they compare to the Funko Soda. Um, which one? Let's do Lord of the Rings first. Go and get the plastic off here. There we go. Let's maybe zoom out a little bit. Right. There's a better look at the case. Yeah, you got the sides that bend a little bit, but hey, that's what the cases did. <laughs> so I'll be honest with you, that doesn't bother me. That's just how they're made. It's like floppy vinyl around the edges than a clamshell case. And I assume you could take out this paper like in the originals. I'm not sure if there's any reason to. Yes, it's Lord of the Rings. Uh, collectible figure in different languages. Sauron Blockbuster Rewind. Again, it's the official Blockbuster logo. And then a bunch of warnings down there. And on the side, that's pretty cool. These would definitely look cool. On a shelf like that, I will say, so far, I think these might be a newer product. In fact, let's look at the back here. This figure inside, find the chase. New Line Cinema, 2023 and 2023. So I think these just came out last year, probably. So far, there's only one Lord of the Rings one, and it's Sauron. And there's only one Turtles one, and it's Leonardo. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more if these do well. But for right now, that's all there is. So yeah, that's pretty much all sides of the case. So let's pop it open. Okay. Interesting. I have some thoughts right away. Size-wise, it's not that much different than the soda, but feels much less substantial. It's definitely smaller than the soda, but not like massively less. Then in here you have uh, this, I assume must come out, because this is your Blockbuster card, which I have to admit is a nice touch. This feels plastic. It is. That's cool. That's plastic. Name Sauron. Character card. This is... It's time to rewind. This is obviously obviously supposed to look like a Blockbuster membership card, except it's whatever figure you got. I got to be honest, that's a nice touch. That is a nice touch. It's plastic. You know, it feels just like your old Blockbuster cards. 
that's pretty cool um and I think if you're going to buy these for $12 a piece, you have to be on board that the packaging, well, the soda are kind of the same way. The packaging is part of what you're paying for. Like, there's no doubt about that. Well, let's take a little closer look at the figure here. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. So, if you saw me open the Funko Soda, there's no question this is not as nicely painted and detailed. I mean, this is a cool little figure. But it is not, it is not of the same caliber as the soda figures. And I will bring it over here to show you. But, I mean, it looks cool. And if I didn't have the soda figure, I definitely would have thought it was cool. Again, I really think you have to be on board with the fact that you're paying for this whole package. The cool membership card, the cool plastic clamshell, and the figure is 12 bucks. Because the figure itself is not worth $12. That's my opinion. But, let's move over here. Oops. So let's move over here to um, the Turtles, Leo. Let's see here. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. I'm kind of glad for now they only made two of these I was like massively into because I'm collecting Funko Soda like a fool. I don't need something else to collect. I need these to be one-off things and just to stay one-off things for me. <laughs> so here's the Turtles clamshell. She's got that live action movie cast right there. Pretty cool. Toka and Razar, I think most people wonder why they didn't use Bebop and Rocksteady. Because that's what most of us kids knew. What I heard was, it was uh, the creators, the original creators of the Turtles. Ah, oh, this shell's cracked, that's annoying. The creators of the Turtles um, did not want that. Um, because they didn't create Bebop and Rocksteady, they were created for the cartoon. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but that's the story I heard. And I should mention, Leo's holding his swords. That's the chase version of this one. And this one, I'm honestly not sure. He appears to be holding something. Yeah, this case is cracked. I imagine that's not all that uncommon. It annoys me. Because again, part of what you're paying for is definitely the case itself. <sighs> it is what it is. <laughs> Right, Leo's pretty cool looking. But I will say, definitely, again, smaller than the soda. I can just tell right off. Let's go and do like we did last time. and Well, yeah, we've already got. Look at the card in here first. That's pretty cool. Leonardo, same on the back. And the figure here. This is of course Leo. He's got his hand on his hips there, sort of. I do like him. He's cool. These the figures themselves are definitely not as weighty. They're not as substantial as the soda figures. Um, at least not the comparable, like this, the low soda Leo, these are both. Yeah. They're both, they feel like they're about half as heavy, honestly. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some comparison here. They do look cool with their cases though, don't they? I think they do. All right. Let's bring in some comparison. Yeah. Sauron somewhere here. We got the regular Leo. Now this is the original Funko Soda Leo from the 87 cartoon. And he really is much bigger. And here's Sauron, who's not only much bigger, but has a nice shiny coat of paint. 
I mean, I'll be honest with you. There's no doubt the soda figure is better looking on this one. I mean, there's just no question. I mean, wow. The, he's bigger in every dimension, but not hugely so. But it's just much more detailed. Mostly just due to the paint, really. Otherwise, they're comparable in detail. Just the size is different. This one just needs that shiny coat of paint. Like even the ring here on the soda's finger. Um, these retail for 15 though it can vary wildly, honestly, what you're going to pay. Although right now on Amazon, I think he's like 10 bucks new. Um, so actually, 10 bucks compared to 11 or 11.99, I think this one was. So you're not getting the VHS tape in the Blockbuster membership card, but you are getting the 10 cans. So I guess it depends your preference. But there's no doubt if you just care about the figure, the soda is the way to go. Over here, it's not as easy because, I mean, here, I can't imagine anybody saying they think this one just looks better. I mean, the only way would be if you just love the fact that it's a little smaller, but it's not even that different. It's just a clear win for the soda figure. Over here, I could see somebody saying that they prefer the one on the right, which is the rewind, the blockbuster re rewind figure. It's just, it's going to be a matter of preference. Size-wise, He's easily, the soda figures easily double the size. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm glad to have both these. I like the fact that they're in the VHS case. You know, even if I leave them in the case, they were pretty cool like that, honestly. But... I think I'll stick to the soda as far as the figures themselves. I think, because this was like one of the original, if I'm not mistaken, one of the original Funko Soda. And they've honestly only gotten better since then. And still, I would say it's better than this. Although, maybe not substantially. I mean, just, they're still both cool. But over here, there's no comparison. Um, and this is more like, a lot of your modern Funko Soda are more detailed like this. So, my opinion is, I think they're cool, and I'm glad to have these two because they're two of my absolute favorite properties. But I won't be hunting down ones like, you know, I've got Funko Soda for Felix the Cat and Popeye and Guardians of the Galaxy and you name it. I won't be hunting down all those in the Rewind line. If they come out with more Lord of the Rings ones, I'll probably get them. If they come out with more Turtles ones, I'm probably going to get them. But other than that, I'm not going to hunt down a bunch of them. Um, for $3 more, even if you're paying full retail... I'm going to keep going with the soda figures. I just think I just think they're better figures and I do like the cans. So, but that being said, these are cool. The membership card's neat. I'm glad to have these. And uh let me know what you think below in the comments. Thanks for checking out the cardboard cave.